So Laura, as the Dam Green Star program is coming up on its two-year anniversary, uh, just past $1.5 billion par, uh, verified uh, more than 100 transactions. What have you learned in two years of, of working in this sector? Um, well, we've certain, certainly seen an acceleration in the growth in the use of Green Stars um, over the last sort of six to eight months. Um, we are seeing a number of larger issues come to market with BAM Green Stars, which is quite nice. Uh, initially, it was mostly smaller Texas MUDs, but now we've seen some larger issues in other states. We've also seen uh, different types of projects um, that are now being financed with Green Star bonds. So a number of wastewater treatment projects have come to market. Uh, we've seen some energy efficiency projects. We've seen some land preservation projects. So I think we're seeing an expansion behind beyond what was the initial scope of the, of the Green Star universe, which was pretty much traditional water and sewer projects, um, just for delivery of water, uh, sufficient water to, to neighborhoods. And that's a trend market-wide, that you're seeing issuers more proactively planning their capital plans around uh, environmental uh, goals and, uh, and adjusting their, their projects uh, accordingly. Yes, I think we've seen um, issuers definitely want to have to undertake projects that um, are necessary just to keep their infrastructure up to date, but those projects also have positive climate impacts, and so those bonds are, or projects are eligible for green stars, so we've seen that confluence or convergence of, of things occurring. So BAM performs a, a green bond review for every transaction insurer, so you've probably have done more, several thousand of them in, in, in the two years. Uh, in terms of the pr procedurally, what have you learned uh, to make the project more accessible to, uh, to BAM members? What, what's changing? Well, I think, um, you know, reaching this sort of billion and a half and more than 100 transactions, as you said, you know, probably several thousand transactions reviewed uh, over the course of the last couple of years. Um, we decided it made sense to step back and look at the project process and look at the standards and see what really was working well and what wasn't working well. Um, so we made a couple of of changes that we think strengthen the program um, and uh, improve the sort of comprehensiveness of the review process that's undertaken for the Green Star bonds. Um, the first is that we have made Green Star available to members on uninsured bonds. So if you're a BAM member, meaning that you've issued a bond that was previously insured by BAM, whether on the primary or the secondary market, you can issue bonds that are uninsured and we will assign a Green Star for the, to them if they pass the standards. So I think that's that's really making the Green Star program more available to some of the larger issuers who haven't issued insured bonds on the primary market, but who have issued insured bonds or bonds that have been insured in the secondary market. Um, the other thing we realize is that we can do the review and monitoring and reporting of use of proceeds ourselves internally um, and not really rely on a re or, or expect to get um, reports from the issuers. So we sort of can reduce the burden on issuers going forward. We undertake that review every year as part of our surveillance project process anyway. We use external sources, we reach out to issuers often, um, we send communications to the issuers. We're doing all the work now anyway, and the way it's being done now is that we're effectively doing the, the review and the reporting and the monitoring ourselves. Um, rather than continue to have a, a standard where we expect reporting from the issuer, we're just gonna change that so that it's reporting that we do ourselves internally based on our best efforts. I think that will make it um, a little easier for issu issuers. We'll streamline the process of it for issuers. And it will also ensure that their reporting process is consistent and comprehensive and robust in all cases, since we'll be doing it ourselves. And it, uh, does the end report of that process, does, does that uh, in any way uh, raise the risk that a green star could be removed? No, I actually think the opposite. Um, so I think that there are two things. One, there's been a bit of misconception in the market um, that there's, you know, sort of a degree of likelihood of, of the Green Star being withdrawn or, or revoked, and mm -hmm. uh, the likelihood of that is extremely small. Um, first of all, uh, many of the projects that we're assigning Green Stars to are complete, so there's no chance of misuse of proceeds because the proceeds have been spent. Um, also, within the municipal market, there are a number of restrictions and reporting requirements for use of proceeds that limit how issuers of tax exempt bonds can use proceeds, so they really can't just use the proceeds for other purposes. They're not general operating uh, funds in any way, so they really have to use those proceeds for the specific purpose for tax and other things. Um, so I think that those are things that really limit the likelihood of proceeds being misused. By doing the reviews ourselves, we can also make sure that we can monitor the progress and the status of projects that are under construction um, and ensure that we're sort of reporting appropriately when the projects are completed 
Um, but I think it does, by doing it ourselves as opposed to relying on the issuer and and possibly not hearing from the issuer and rely or not getting confirmation of completion, which then may cause us to question the use of proceeds, if we do it ourselves, we'll always know what the status of the projects is. So there's very small likelihood of any um, green stars being withdrawn for misuse of proceeds just for lack of information more than anything else. Great. Well, thank you for uh, taking the time. Good luck with the, uh, the expansions on the program. Thank you. BAM is helping its members, cities, towns, and school districts build a sustainable future. BAM Green Star Bonds finance projects that protect and restore the environment. That means more renewable energy, efficient transportation in buildings, and clean water. Investors know BAM Green Star Bonds are financially secure and make critical infrastructure more affordable. We do this for the same reason you do. Building America sustainably. BAM. The feeling is mutual.